Hello, and I am live again. In fact, I've literally just come off my weekly live chat. So that's three videos tonight, but I had to come back on, or rather, I felt I had to come back on. Because during my live chat, people were saying, have you heard about the Queen nearly being knocked down the stairs? Um, and I said, no, <laughs> I haven't heard a thing. I need to go and investigate it. So I kind of got the gist of what had happened and what people were telling me in the live chat. But I thought, before I comment, I really need to go and check out this story to see exactly what happened so I can separate any fact from any fiction before I make this video. But I had to make this video before I completely pack away and, you know, relax for the evening. So uh, let me recap on exactly what happened. So the Queen, as we know, is staying currently at Balmoral for her annual summer break. And of course, she's attended wherever she goes by her ladies in waiting. And um, this particular lady in waiting is known as the Honourable Mary Morrison. And she does actually have a damehood. She was made um, a dame in 2013, but she refuses to be called dame. She prefers to be known as her inherited title, which is the Honorary Mary Morrison because of um, her father's position. She is currently aged 81. And what happened was, I've got some notes in front of me so um, I don't miss out any details, but they were on the way down to the castle ballroom. They were going to attend a party, or the Queen was attending the part, uh, a party, and Mary was accompanying the Queen. Um, the party was for the members of the military who guard the Balmoral Castle, so obviously saying thank you to them for doing a really good job of guarding the castle while the Queen is in residence. Um, Mary Morrison tripped down the stairs and she fell and sources are saying, now I don't know how true this, this is the bit that I don't know how true it is. I don't know whether this particular part has been sensationalised or not, I don't know. But the source is saying, well in the article that I read anyway, the source is saying that, the, that Mary literally narrowly missed the Queen by inches. So the Queen could potentially have gone flying down the stairs too. Like I say, bear this in mind, I don't know how true that bit is. We don't know how close Mary was away from the Queen when she fell. But if they were together, then the likelihood is that the Queen was probably walking down the steps first, um, because obviously, you know, the Queen always tends to go first. So we can imagine that Mary was a couple of steps behind, maybe a step behind. So if she fell and she was really, really close, the chances are she could have literally gone flying into the Queen. But she didn't. She missed the Queen. Um, or at least we know that the Queen is okay. Um, but she fell, to the, she fell and the upstart was that she went to the hospital and they did x-rays and they confirmed that she had broken her ankle. Which of course isn't very good for anybody but in particular at age 81 um, so my heart goes out to to Mary and I would like everyone to to leave a comment sending Mary best wishes um, because I think it's not nice but she is a sterling character because she's back she's back with the Queen she's on crutches um, so don't fear for Mary I mean I, I hope she has a very speedy recovery it's not nice to break your ankle but she's back, she's still serving the Queen on crutches. Um, a very dignified lady by the sounds of it, and very dedicated as well, because of course, being a lady in waiting to the Queen, um, to, it isn't a paid role. She's doing it out of love and support and dedication to the Queen. So much was her dedication that she immediately went back to the Queen on crutches, which I think um, deserves a round of applause, I think, because um, that's a rather remarkable feat. Apparently the palace is trying to replace her. Again, I don't know how true that is. She may not even want to be replaced. If she can fulfil her, her duty on crutches, I'm sure she probably will. So she is returned back to the castle um, on crutches. I don't know if they're going to replace her or not. Um, I, I really can't see all your comments. I haven't got my laptop ready. So... Um, Maggie says, oh, the poor thing. I will pray for a speedy recovery. Um, someone else saying, I look dashing. Thank you so, so much. Um, Pamji says, amazing, amazing dedication Mary has for the Queen. Definitely, I would agree with that totally. And Elisa says, sending Mary all the best. 
take good care. So I just wanted to clarify that Mary is okay. The Queen is okay. The Queen didn't go flying. It could have been a near miss. I don't know. Um, but, you know, it does kind of remind you as well that at that age, they are vulnerable. And, you know, stairs can be an enemy, definitely. And, you know, accidents can indeed happen. Uh, Queen of the Bishop says, hello, Elliot. I'm so happy everyone is okay. God bless. I am totally happy with this too. When people were telling me about this story in the chat, I thought, oh no, um, I really hope nothing serious has happened. Um, Tease Girl says, I'm late. What did I miss? We're talking about the um, the story that broke kind of while I was on air, uh, or rather earlier today that I missed because I was out doing doing things with my family, uh, about the Queen possibly being knocked over um, at Balmoral, which she wasn't. It was um, Mary, Mary Morrison, who was who was knocked over. Um, or rather, she, she, she fell. She wasn't knocked, knocked over herself. Uh, she broke her ankle, but she's OK. She's back with the Queen. Um, yeah, and she's been an attendant to the Queen, I think, for over 60 years, I think I read. So, so yes, she's... Uh, a very permanent fixture and I'm sure her life would be more disrupted I think probably if if she wasn't in attendance with the Queen so I would imagine she'll probably stay at Balmoral and recuperate but she'll still be attending the Queen uh, I think as much as she possibly can and this curious title uh, which I thought was really good as well the Woman of the Bedchamber, uh, which I think is a really lovely little title. Um, and I think that obviously harks back uh, well into the day. In fact, I think I'm going to Google it now just so I can get an actual um, definition of it because it is, you know, a fairly obscure title. So uh, we'll type in uh, Woman of the Bedchamber and we'll, we'll see what comes up, shall we? Uh, Woman of the Bedchamber. Um, in the royal household of the United Kingdom is that the term woman of the bedchamber is used to describe a woman, usually a daughter of a peer or peer. Well, that's why she's uh, the honourable. Um, attending either a queen regnant or a queen consort in the role of lady in waiting. Well, that's kind of what, what we knew anyway. So there's nothing, nothing new there. Let's see if there's a little bit of, of history on it. Um, I'm not sure. If, oh, history. Um, historically, the duties of a woman of the bedchamber were to attend the royal women, the royal woman rather, and help her bathe, get dressed, undressed, and so forth. They were placed in rank below the ladies of the bedchamber. The description from 1728, a woman of the bedchamber, worked independently from the lady of the bedchamber and did not take orders from her. However, if a lady of the bedchamber was present, a woman of the bedchamber would always defer to her. If a lady of the bedchamber was present when a woman of the bedchamber arrived to dress the queen, for example, she would not dress the queen herself, but instead pass the garments to the lady of the bedchamber, who in turn helped the queen put them on. The procedure was the same in other respects. Oh my goodness, how complicated would that be? Ah, my goodness, that's like, um, that would be a bit of a nightmare to try and get right. Can you imagine uh, doing that job? Um, so it's got the current women of the bedchamber to Queen Elizabeth II include Lady Susan Hussey, the Honourable Mary Ann Morrison, who we just spoke about, both of whom were appointed in 1960, along with Baroness Elton since 1987. Lady Susan is also godmother to Prince William, Duke of Cambridge. One of Lady Susan's predecessors was Dame Margaret Catherine Hay, um, woman of the bedchamber to Queen Elizabeth II, who was a granddaughter of the first Duke of Westminster and wife of Sir Philip Hay, private secretary to the Duchess of Kent. Um, wow. Um, but more junior female, female members of the royal family also have friends to assist them on public engagement who are known as ladies in waiting. So there you go, a little bit of, um, of light history. What do we all think about that? Um, who would like to be a lady of the bedchamber or a woman of the bedchamber? Let me know. Um, Pam G says the Queen must be really worried since she and Mary have known each other for so long. Yes, the Queen um, has been quoted. And again, I don't know how true this part is. I don't know where they've got it from. But the Queen is reported as having said that she that she is shocked and worried. 
Well, I'm sure the actual initial incident was probably um, a shock, and I'm sure she was very, very worried whilst she was at the hospital. But I think probably since she, she returned on crutches, probably that um, shock and worry is probably alleviated by now. In particular, this was actually, this incident actually happened last Wednesday, so it didn't happen uh, recently. What date was last Wednesday? Let me just check. Um, so last Wednesday was the 13th? No, the 12th. So I think this likely happened on the 12th of September. So a whole week has passed and, you know, nothing bad has happened. So I'm sure that initial shock and worry has probably gone from the Queen and probably everything now is about healing and getting better for Mary. Um, until I hear anything else, that is the official story. Nothing else to be worried about. So I'm gonna go now and do a little bit more filming for my weekly vlog, which I really need to get done. And I'm gonna tidy up and um, have a bit of a relax with a cup of tea, I think. Um, Billy Blair says, glad to hear it is an old incident. Yes, um, definitely good news. So if you've enjoyed this little royal update, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media so that everyone gets the true news and hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I do one of these pop-up live chats or indeed I post a video in general. So from me in Shropshire, goodbye. <laughs>